In this video, I want to show you how to create and use profiles in Microsoft Edge. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you find my channel interesting, please take a moment to subscribe. This will greatly help the channel. Let me tell you first very quickly why you need to create profiles in Microsoft Edge. It's simply to separate environments. So let's say you have a work environment and you have a personal environment and you want to separate the cookies, the history, the saved password and so on for each environment. So you create two profiles, one for work and one for personal use. So let's start first by showing you how to create a profile in Microsoft Edge. So on your Windows machine, start Microsoft Edge and then click on the avatar here and then select Add Profile and then click on Add. When you add a new profile, Microsoft Edge will prompt you if you want to sign in to synchronize data. Synchronizing data means anything that you configure on this machine will be transmitted to another machine if you sign in with the same user in Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to click here on Sign in to Sync Data. And you have here two options. You have the option to use a personal Microsoft account or you have an option to use a work account. Here, I'm going to show you how to use a Microsoft account. So click on Microsoft account and then click on continue. I'm going to use my knowledge sharing tech account. Of course, use your own account. So this is my Microsoft account. Once you put your email address, click on next and then put the password and then click on sign in. Microsoft Edge will ask you if you want to use this account everywhere on your device, meaning it will also be configured for Windows 10. And this is not what we want here. So click Microsoft Apps Only. So wait for it now and see here it is logged in now with the knowledge sharing tech account and you still have here the dialog box. Just click on continue without signing in so that you can remove this dialog box. And now you can customize your profile. So now we have two profiles. We have the original profile of Microsoft Edge. This is the default one. And we have the our knowledge sharing tech profile. So let me show you if I customize, for instance, the knowledge sharing tech profile here. Let me put here like a focused environment. So I'm going to click on focused. You see here I have it focused. And the first one is not focused. It's I think it's called inspirational. So this is one of the examples of the settings that you can change in one profile and they don't affect the other profile. So here if you want to go to the settings for the profile, you click on the icon and then click on manage profile settings. And you see here that we have the two profiles, the personal profile, which is knowledge sharing tech, which is syncing information. And you have the profile too, which is the default profile of Microsoft Edge. So here we can configure the settings of this profile to our liking. We can import browser data from another browser. They will be imported in this profile. You can change the name of the profile. So let me change it. Click on the three dots here. Click on edit. Let's call it knowledge sharing tech. And then click on update. And you see here now we have the profile name knowledge sharing tech and so on. So you can manage your passwords and this is for each profile you can do this. So let me show you now if I add also another profile and then I'm going to show you how to switch between the profiles. So now we have three profiles. I'm going to show you now how to switch between the profiles and what will happen if you clicked on an external link, what profile will open. So let me close everything first. So now everything is closed and this is here the original profile. You can recognize it now by its icon. It has a small icon and this is because we created profiles. So click on it. So now the original profile will open. Let me first show you how to select the default profile for external links. 
So I click on the three dots, settings, profiles, and then here you have something called profile preferences. Click on it. And you see here that default profile for external links. You can click the drop down list and you have all the options. So you have the option for last used or you have the option to choose each time you click on external link what default profile you want it to open. So let's say here we want knowledge sharing tech to open each time you click on an external link. So let's click here on the arrow and let's try now to open any link to see how it will open. So this is the link. When I click it, I'm going to click on yes, of course. It will open in the knowledge sharing tech profile because this is the default profile that we specified to open external links. And now I'm going to show you how to create an icon for each profile so that you can launch it directly from the taskbar. So open edge. And first we have an icon for the default profile. So let's open now the knowledge sharing tech profile. To open it, click on the avatar here and then click knowledge sharing tech. And here it is open. And you notice here the small icon that is the same one as here. So right click here on the Microsoft Edge icon and simply click pin to taskbar. And now let's open also the personal profile. And let's do the same. So right click Microsoft Edge and then click on pin to taskbar. So I showed you how to create an icon for each profile. So of course, if you open each profile here, you can switch very easily between profiles by clicking on the icon here. But you can also switch from here. If you choose a profile, you can switch to the other profile here. So let's click on knowledge sharing tech. It will switch for it. If it's not open, it will open it. And the third way of switching profiles is by clicking on the three dots here clicking on settings and you see here you have switch next to the profile so if you click on it it will take you to the other profile so now let me show you how to delete the profile if you no longer need it let's say i want to delete my personal profile here so first you need to switch to it and when you switch to it here you click on the three dots next to the name and then you click on remove and then you click on remove profile. So let me show you now if you add a work profile how Microsoft Edge will automatically prompt you to switch the profiles. You see here I am in my personal profile and I went to a work related link. So if I click on sign in Edge will automatically detect that this is something that is work related and it will ask me to switch profiles. So here you can simply click on switch profiles and it will take you automatically to your work profile. So that was it for Microsoft Edge profiles. I hope you find this video useful and if you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.